good morning everyone. Uh, this is the setup for fall detection and production of three phase induction motor using PLC. So here we start with the three phase input. We have connected this to the three phase supply. Uh, this is the MCV. This is the contactor, uh, overload relay, over voltage, under voltage relay. And this is the dimmer used to create the fault. We use this dimmer to generate a over voltage or under voltage. Uh, this is the temperature sensor which is used to detect the temperature of the motor. And finally this is the PLC. So this is a DVP 14 SS2 PLC with 8 inputs and 6 outputs. For this particular project we have used 5 inputs and 6 outputs. So these inputs are, one is to the overload relay, one is to the over voltage, under voltage relay. Uh, one is to this temperature sensor and the others are for the start and stop buttons. Uh, so this PLC we are using 6 outputs, uh, 2 for the on and off indicators and 3 for the current fault, voltage fault and temperature fault indicators. Then the last output goes to this 3-phase uh, AC contactor. This contactor is used to turn off the induction motor in case of any of these faults. Uh, this, uh, this component is an auxiliary relay which we are using because this PLC runs on 24 volt while this contactor runs on 220 volt. Hence, to uh, fix the voltage, we use this auxiliary relay. So, now we are going to demonstrate the overload part. This is the overload relay which will uh, detect when there is an overload and stop the induction motor. So now we switch on the supply, switch on the MCB and press the start button. So now the motor is running under normal condition. Uh, so as you can see we have 240 volt in the phase, phase voltage. So now we increase the load to the motor. So now in normal condition it's showing 2.8 amps of current. So here the current is increasing as we increase the load. So now, since due to the overcurrent, uh, the PLC has detected it and turned off the motor. So the fault, current fault switch uh, indicator has turned on. Now we are demonstrating under voltage fault. So first we have to switch on the supply and the MCB. And uh, to start, we have to push the start button. And uh, as you can see, at normal condition, the motor runs normally. But here, uh, we are trying to do our under voltage fall. Uh, to show that, uh, we are using a dimmer. And uh, this under voltage relay sends the data to PLC. And then, uh, the motor is protected uh, due to under voltage fall. So now, once we decrease the voltage as you can see in one of the value under voltage has happened and then under voltage fault has been created. Now uh, we are trying to create a temperature fault so to do that we have connected a temperature sensor to our motor and we have preset value of 36 degrees Celsius in our temperature sensor so once uh, this Temperature sensor detects 36 degrees Celsius, it will turn off the motor. So now you can see the motor is turned off. So in this way it, it prevents the motor from over temperature. So you can see here 
the temperature trick uh, light is turned on indicating temperature fault so by this demonstration we learn that this uh, apparatus can protect the motor against the current fault over voltage and anti voltage fault as well as temperature fault please subscribe to hr thank you